What's going on everyone? Mike here for Let's Turn 2 and today is a new release day. We got some 2021 Tops Heritage. Now I know in retail some people have been able to get their hands on this a little early. Some pre-orders were even coming in as early as last weekend but this is the official release day. I got these two packs from my LCS just about an hour ago so let's just see what we can get. Uh, there you see the hobby logo on the front of the packs. But first, I wanted to look back on last year's release of this, sort of refreshing everyone's memory, and maybe do a little comparison at the end. So, there you see, this is 2020 Heritage. That's your Cody Bellinger base. And now with this Juan Soto, when we turn it over, you see the number 403 there. This is a short print. These come roughly one in every three packs. And anything numbered 401 to 500 in any year of Heritage is going to be a short print. This was the card everyone was after last year on release day, the Jordan Alvarez, Aristides Aquino rookie card. Most rookie cards uh, in this release, uh, they were the dual cards. You got two players on one, and if you didn't get that, you got something more like this, where you got three players on one, and there you see in the middle, you got Kyle Lewis, last year's AL Rookie of the Year. There were... There were chances that you could get a rookie where it was just the one player, but those were photo variations, I believe, and very hard to pull. Autographs, very hard to pull in Heritage. Uh, hobby boxes do guarantee you a relic or an autograph, but it seems the uh, the relics vastly outweigh the, the autographs. Uh, in my opinion, probably four out of five, you're going to pull a relic, but I was able to pull this one. This came out of retail, a retail blaster. Now this is one of your red ink autos, hand numbered to 71, so a very cool pull. Didn't even know I didn't even know I got it when I first went through the pack because very easy for very easy for that to get lost in the shuffle. It was when I went back through and and I noticed that up there that I thought, okay, what is this? So very cool card here. I don't know if there's the hand-numbered stuff in this release. Haven't looked at the checklist that in depth, but let's just let's just take a look here. So there you go, 2021 Tops Heritage. Uh, let's look on the back here. Let's there's all your odds and the no purchase necessary. Get nine cards per pack. All right. So there's the design. Like it? I like it a little bit more than I thought I would. Uh, I did watch a couple of the videos that had already come out on this, and I wasn't sure on it, but uh, definitely a nice card. Uh, there you see Jason Kipnis, Brandon Crawford. There's one of your in-action cards. That's a pretty cool card there. Shohei Otani. Josh Naylor. Another in-action card, Jose Ramirez, Adam Eaton, there's Vladdy, hoping for a big year out of Vladdy Jr., so very nice card, that's probably my favorite card of the pack so far, and Justin Dunn, so nothing really outstanding out of that pack, didn't even get a rookie, but we still got one pack left, so let's get right into this. There you see Max Freed, Freddy Galvis, 2020 World Series Game 5, Kershaw, cool card, Sixto Sanchez, in action rookie, there's our first rookie and it's a good one, Sixto Sanchez, definitely like that one, very cool card, that's gonna get, that's gonna get penny sleeved up here, Martin Maldonado, Albert Pujols, Future Hall of Famer, possibly his last year, we don't know. The great one, Roberto Clemente. Mauricio Dubon. And the last card, another rookie, cool. So 2021 Rookie Stars Mets, David Peterson and Andres Jimenez. So not familiar with either of these two, that doesn't mean anything. Either one of them or both could go on to be big stars, so... 
Very cool card. Now, again, let's flip these over and just see. One in three packs, you're going to get one of those uh, short prints. We're looking for anything 401 to 500. Did we get one? Here's the back of the card, too, for those of you who are interested. So, that's pretty cool. It's part of a puzzle, I guess. Going to have to look a little bit more into that. Not sure what that's all about, but all right. All right, so that one was a that one was part of an insert. So we did not get a short print, but that's okay. Uh, I would say I like the design. I like it a little bit more here. We'll showcase the Dubon a little bit longer. Uh, I like the design a little bit more than I thought. But for me, I, I still, there's something about last year's card. I just like this. This is classic. I don't know what it is. Um, but this one definitely has potential to grow on me. Right now, I like it. Wouldn't say I love it, but after I open some more of it, could definitely could definitely be one that moves into the, you know, love it category. So, all right. So there you go, folks. Hope everyone enjoyed it. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. If you liked this video, hit the like. And I hope to see everyone on the next one. Thanks for watching and take care.